Oh, that's actually a semi over. But let's do four things. Each one. Good morning. So I'm shelled in right here to my Beagle Bone Black. Um, this particular one has the Debian image. I'm going to use that to get started to explain how this works. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to enable the serial ports of your choice with the Debian image. And then also you can use the same technique and this knowledge to enable the serial ports on the Beagle Bone Black using Ubuntu Snappy. Uh, the examples I'm going to give you will work on 15.4, and I'm sure you can just very easily apply this to 16.04 once you can actually build the core for Snappy. Um, I'm not going to show you how to build the Snappy core yet in, in this tutorial. Um, mostly this is for my own notes as well because this is something I'm going to be working on regularly and uh, I don't want to forget how to do all this. So let's start with how I first came out about to figure out how to set these COM ports up is, is I used Debian. Uh, I found a Debian image that had some instructions that kind of make sense, although they weren't completely accurate, um, but I was able to get it working. And then I was able to reconstruct my path from Debian over to Ubuntu because they both are really similar in um, how they do things. Uh, so basically we're going to start with, just to show you, and so this is the Debian image I have installed on my Snappy. And it's right here. Um, the first one I installed did not work. Uh, I had to find this one. The other one was just too big. It took up the entire EMMC. I had no room to work. So anyway, I found this one. I don't remember where it was, um, but again, that's not the focus of this tutorial. But I'm gonna show you how to enable the, the extra COM ports. So it's pretty easy. Um, if you notice, you'll look here and you'll see that it says kernel command line. It shows the consoles are enabled, but also see it says part BB2 and BB, uh, BB UART2 and Beagle Bone Black UART4 are enabled. And then, so let's go ahead and hop out of here. And so what does that mean? Well, basically, on the, uh, on the Debian, in the lib firmware folder, you are going to see a list of device tree overlay files. So when Debian boots up, it, it, it loads a default device tree for the Beagle Bone Black. And that only has UART0 enabled. However, you can then enable other devices by loading these overlays. And you'll see here you've got UART1, and you want the, a, the 00A0 overlays. So you've got UART1, UART2, and you've got UART3, 4, and 5. And so when I said BBUART2 was loaded in that previous line and BBUART4 was loaded, that means I loaded these two overlay files to enable them. So what are these overlay files overlaying? Well, when your, your Beagle Bone boots, it has in the boot directory a DTBS directory. So let's change there. In the DPTS directory, in the DTBS directory, I apologize, which is the device trees, um, you're going to see a bunch of device trees uh, for the version. We want the ARM7 because that's what the Beagle Bone is. Okay, so here is the device trees available for the different types of boards built on the ARM7. And you're going to see different brands and etc. So let's let's just uh, find. The Beagle Bone. It would help if I could type and if I was paying attention. So, there we go. And there it is. This is, now you can specify these different ones, like this one enables the HDMI. Um, this one, again, each one of these are different, but none of these will enable the serial port specifically that I wanted. Um, so you use the overlay in addition to whatever you want. But by default, this is the one that Debian is going to load when you boot. That's what it's configured to load. So, with that being said, how did I tell it to load these overlay files I showed you in that other page? How did I tell it to do that? Well, it was pretty easy. Um, let's go back to the boot directory. And in this file right here, UENV text file. 
Okay, so basically in this file here, we are going to look at it. And here you'll see the line I added to enable the COM ports. Now, as long as your OS is working correctly, basically it's that first part of that file name, dbur2, dbur4. That will enable those two other COM ports. And literally, once you do that and reboot, you will have Let me just use this to show you. You will have your COM ports enabled, as you saw earlier, right there. Another way to look at them is ls and there they are. Okay, so there's our ports. They are enabled. Um, it creates a symbolic link to them so that you know, but but this is the port name that we generally system. So that is all it takes in Debian to enable those files. So now you say, okay, so we have our device tree and then we load these overlay files, but what does that all do and how can I use that to make it work on the BeetleBone Black? Well, that's enough for this guy. Um, that's, that's all you do in Debian. So we are done here.